Mupina Gupe, Makama Tolope, and Asako Plasta Kona. Saubo na gembugele. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And a warm welcome to this week's edition of Ilunga Lulako. It's your ride. Sinna tela gano tela lapo mahamba pambile SAPC wandi mzanse for sure. Minege ngin simpi wengongan. Mbugele, guko na gelo gumitoga, legmele gusto sigo ati nge gusto sige. Gwendega ane emalini yako embenshenu. Umage ushona, kungaga peli iminyaga le sanu. Futsige yi lukta wendega, umage iperele minyaga le sanu usapila. Singan mushele gizkazi, asingene shika. Enza bayi nef namusu. Umtet for ge lobuegeta etim penche nige pansigwe government employees pension fund EGEPF umage usho na kunga pele miyaga le slano tipumile tmaltako kumele leto timale tinigo tisobota kolo tipalsile umage usho na ge se inzulile le miyaga le slano saunigaya saunigaya genza bayet fu etvara shintet fu guze tisi kanyi sele namsa. Manje gasa spumungele ge smanga selemeni na Eric Morudulo bobabele babuya e government employees pension fund. Guti ge basi begele ga selen zaba. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us and a warm welcome to the show. Msasa zi naba bugele kai. Thank you very much and thank you for the with the, the viewers out there. Indeed, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to start with you. Guti ge, uh, why is the balance limited to five years? Why gube go minja gende slan? Look, uh, I think this is one of the most misunderstood uh, concept in our uh, basket of uh, benefits as the GPF. Mm -hmm. And just as a way of an example, it is no different to your living uh, annuity or a life annuity in the private sector. The only difference is, is that in the private sector, you are given a chance to choose whether you want 10, 15, or 20 years. Mm -hmm. In our case, it is a default five years. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens to it is, mm -hmm. say, for instance, you've got a million by the time, worth of benefits by the time you go on retirement. Mm -hmm. You are then entitled to two forms of payments. The first payment is gratuity, which is a lump sum. Say, in this example, 333,000 is given to you in a form of a lump sum. And the remaining two-thirds, which is about 667,000, is then divided into five years or 60 months, where mm -hmm. each month you will get just about 12,000 rent. Mm -hmm. And then should you then live through that five years, you will then have received that 667,000 every month in the form of a 12,000 monthly pension. Mm -hmm. So if it happens that you pass on within that five years, say for instance you pass on uh, in the 10th month into a retirement, it therefore means GPF owes your beneficiaries 12,000 rent multiplied by the remaining 50 months. That is why it is called 50, uh, it, it is called a five year balance. So it is that two third that was left to buy you monthly annuities guaranteed for a period of five years. If it was in the, pri in the private sector, if, yeah. I, if I may just, uh, okay. in the private sector, you would have taken the same 667,000 uh, uh, and say, I want to buy living annuities or life annuities for a period of 10 years, which means after a, a period of 10 years, then you no longer have money, your money has been depleted. Okay. That is, that is what we refer to, that is why I said it is a default uh, five-year guaranteed period for you to have received your money, and should it happen that you pass on before that period, whatever is remaining, will then be paid to your beneficiaries, beneficiaries as per your nomination list. Nothing gets to be forfeited to the state. What then happens in Vagolo five years? Uh, uh, Eric, what happens in Vagolo five years? Moba, saying it for Lilege, Ilam Sam, year one third, and yeah. then the other two thirds is spread out between the five years, Angish. Yes, what yes. What then happens after the five years? Okay. Now having a pension at 60 years, yes. uh, 65 years, who's saying, I'm going no, no. Uh, as long as you are, you are still alive, the state will continue to pay you up until to whatever age 
when you uh, pass on. From what COFAs? From yeah, the for remaining two thirds or from other uh, No, COFAs? remember, as, as, as my colleague have just mentioned, that uh, it will be depleted within that period. So going after five years, uh, the government pension will pay you, uh, or the, the, if you passed on your surviving spouse, up until the time when uh, 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 that spouse uh, passed on. For example, if, um, let's say, you retired uh, at the age of 65, yeah. and then uh, five years after your retirement, you're still alive, and you continue up until 90 years, 100 years, government will not say that, uh, or the fund will not say that, you, you have depleted your fund uh, within mm. that period, but they will continue to, to pay you. What, what will, uh, will, will happen? Will they pay me the same amount that, yeah, that, they that will I have been getting for the five-year period? They will, they will continue to pay you the same amount. Okay. And then uh, if you pass on, your, your spouse will get 50% or 75% of your, 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 your main uh, uh, benefit that you're receiving. Okay, so for how long will my Who spouse or beneficiaries uh, receive the money after I've passed on? Uh, Sasas, that is why we refer to the GPF as pension for life. Mm. The first five years, like I said, are guaranteed because it's your two-third yes. that is remaining. However, once that two-third has, has been depleted, we do not chase you away. You continue receiving a monthly annuity. Now, this monthly annuity is no longer coming out of your money. It is coming out of the investment dividends of the GPF. Ah, so you. it continues being increased every year on the 1st of April for as long as you are alive. Okay. So should you pass on because the five years has passed and you have depleted your two-thirds, your beneficiaries will not be entitled to any form of lump sum payment. Mm -hmm. However, your spouse will then be entitled to 50% of what you were receiving as a monthly pension. If you were receiving mm. 20,000, your spouse will continue receiving 10,000 every month being increased on an annual basis. And that payment continues for as long as your spouse is alive. Whether she or he remarries, the payment continues. Mm. For your children that are under the age of 22, as well they will continue to be paid 25 percent of your of your monthly pension until they reach the age of 22. so, so is that in addition to my spouse getting 50 percent yes okay it's it's, it's it's an additional non-contributory benefits that your spouse and children under the age of 22 receive by virtue that you were a member of the gpf does it matter how many children i have uh, it, it, it doesn't matter how many children you have. They'll still get the 25%. Yeah, yeah as long as uh, they, they are nominated beneficiaries. Okay. Yeah, they will, uh, there will be a, a formula that professionally do calculate okay. uh, the benefits. Right, right. Yeah. The formula works in, the, in this way, uh, yes. uh, Simpiwe. If you have two children, that 25% will be divided into two. Uh, it will be a 2.5% 2. 2. 2. of each. If you have five children, they will not receive less than 10% each. Oh, so it won't be 25% each? No, no, it's 25%. So split amongst all the children I yes. have? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So who determines then uh, uh, as to the beneficiaries? Do I, do, do I determine the beneficiaries that are supposed to benefit from this? Or is, is, is the fund determining who is supposed to get it? Look, each member is encouraged to nominate his or her own beneficiaries. And in doing your nomination, you can decide that maybe your firstborn must receive 50% of whatever amount that you will have. Mm -hmm. And the next person must get 5%, the other must get 10%, and so on. All those percentages combined must make 100%. And then That's based on that, nice. we also are encouraging members when they do those nominations to please make sure that they take care of all their financial dependents 
before they add all others. Because if financial dependents are not taken care of, the board of trustees has got a, a veto power to change your nomination. Okay, right, right. Gentlemen, uh, we'll continue our conversation in just a moment. Please do join us after this break. government employees pension fund snaboge bo chopesha ke from the government employees pension fund but awu buta ke yonke imbuto yakho lo ngaba nayo namhla please make sure that you you pick up the call and call us right now gentlemen uh, just uh, you know just picking up on the conversation we had before that break and funa ke kwathi ukuthi nangabe nominate abantu abami they are minors by the time um, i nominate them and then by the time i die nangabe senya shona mine ngishona sebadzala they are beyond the age of 18 so will it still benefit but but how to be about benefit up yes uh, as indicated nomination is the responsibility of a member yes you do you, we <coughs> do not prescribe who you nominate all what we are encouraging is in your nomination if you have financial dependence make sure that they are listed however in your example if I nominate my firstborn now, and by the time I reach retirement or I pass on, the firstborn is uh, above, is, is an adult, 40 years, 35 years, 36 years, such a person will still benefit, provided what is going to be paid to him will not disadvantage financial dependence, which means mm. we even go to an extent of seeing other people's nomination they will nominate their churches their, they will nominate their pastors others go to an extent of nominating uh, animal rights organization that 10 percent mm. of whatever is left must be paid to because uh, the person used to love animals so it is entirely up to a member who to nominate okay. provided all financial dependents are also included. Okay. And in nominating, those percentages that you are allocating to each person must be equal to a total of 100%. Yes. Yes. And members must not make a mistake of thinking that because I've got a will, I don't need to nominate because we do not recognize a will. Okay. Rather, make your will to talk to your nomination and not the other way around. So the nomination should be under a will. What, what, in, in terms of the rules that governs us, we, we do not recognize a will. We recognize oh, okay. a nomination list. So you cannot not fill a nomination list on the basis that, no, no, I've got my will with my lawyer somewhere. Then in that, in that case, you will be considered <coughs> not to have nominated and therefore you give that responsibility to the trustees to nominate on your behalf mm. and determine mm. who must get without even looking at your will. The trustees being the fund. Yes. So what are the factors that they consider uh, in terms of disbursement of the funds should a, a nomination not be in place? They will look at who is who was financially dependent on you. Obviously, uh, it will involve your your spouse, it will involve all your minors who are still attending school, it will involve even those that you did not declare uh, in the house. Because we need to make sure that we take care of each and every financial dependent, including mm -hmm. those that you pay maintenance for, because they were financially dependent on mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So it is better when it is done by yourself uh, before you pass on and as and when there are 
uh, new developments in your circumstances that you update that list because the latest field nomination is the one that will be considered. Okay. To avoid instances where you were married to this particular person, you divorced and you have married another one, but in, the, in your previous nomination, you nominated your ex-spouse. Uh, once you pass on and there is no new nomination, it means your ex will be entitled to a portion that you said you must leave sure. for, uh, uh, for such. That is why it is important for members to continue updating their nomination uh, lists. Just on that note, uh, in the absence of a nomination list, uh, do you also consider children born out of wedlock? Are they also given the same privileges with those within marriage? All your financial dependents. Okay. Are considered. I see. I see. So in Yatiga Utsige need to balance the butole mining on a daily basis with regards to the GEPF. Uh, what are some of the common misunderstandings that the GEPF has had to, you know, deal with? <coughs> well, uh, quite often our members out there, they receive uh, misleading information from uh, brokers, financial advisors out there that. Uh, once you passed on, I mean, uh, once you retire, uh, 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 after five years, you are no longer going to get your benefits. Your benefits will stop uh, 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 or will cease to operate. In, in other words, the, the fund will no longer pay your benefits. So this uh, misinformation normally go to the extent that uh, our members uh, are forced or enticed to resign in order that uh, they will invest in, 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 in mm. other funds mm. Mm. where their monies will grow. Mm. But um, our members, uh, the, the, uh, the brokers do not tell our members clearly about uh, some of the issues that they should know about when they, when they, resire, when they re uh, resign from our side uh, as the fund, it will disadvantage them in terms of tax because when you resign, uh, the tax uh, charge is higher than uh, when you, you, oh, really? you, you go on pension. Okay. So uh, they are misled and some of them, indeed they resign and uh, they are frustrated out there because these brokers, they need money as well. So right. they right. don't tell them about those benefits, uh, those uh, disadvantages, and hence that uh, we need, or we are busy at the moment, uh, mm. doing a, a campaign out there to our members to make sure that they understand uh, our benefits. Okay, so the only disadvantage of resigning before retirement is the high tax rate. Yes, it's high are tax there, rate. Are there any dis disadvantages that uh, members should take into cognizance? For, for instance, okay. pure uh maybe if I, I may make an example when you resign you have a tax rebate or tax um, exemption on your first 27,500 mm. the rest then uh, in case tax mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whereas when you you go on a retirement uh, at 60 years or 65 your first 550,000 is tax free. Okay. That's what makes uh, a resignation to be very expensive okay. for members. So with these advices that uh, Brian Eric is referring to, we have seen a trend where people, uh, you will work up until you are 59 and 11 months. Just a month before you reach 60, you are told just be because you, uh, on your benefit statement, your broker has seen that you've got three million that you must receive from the GPF should you resign. Then they encourage you to resign. And then when you resign, what goes into your pocket is no longer that three million because it has been taxed so taxed, much yes, to a point yes. that effectively you might have shared that three million with SARS okay. because of high tax uh, rates that is being charged for a, 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 a resignation vis-a-vis -vis if you were going on a retirement, yes, yes. obviously your first 550,000 was going to be tax-free and uh, the rest then incurs a very low tax 
uh, tax rate. I wonder though if a member uh, resigns or rather goes into early retirement on medical grounds because it's not a fault of theirs. So will they still attract a higher tax? No, no. Remember, early retirement is uh, on, on the grounds of uh, health. Is, it falls under retirement. It's only that you are leaving early because of a particular reason mm. and you would have then, working with your employer, have agreed that you must leave because you cannot no longer be operational where you are uh, you are employed or okay, your so responsibility. So it's not treated as so a resignation? So it's not a resignation. Okay. It's, a, it's, an, it's, it's a retirement on medical grounds. Okay, yes. all right. Stop in the spoil again for a little careful. Bugelega says, Pinza says, is Shafu and a pretty maggot. Stop in the spoil. Please don't go away. Lady get lunga laco. Welcome back, Sana Bugelaga Futsiga Babugel. I'm sure it's a Kuma and Etimal Tempenshin for Titi Seventa Hulme and the E government employees pension fund. Never say again, I begin Dega and get of five years after we retire. No matter, I'm Vagotsiga Ushon. But before we get into the conversation, let's take our first caller, Sana Cindy Siwe, Ula Pagi Pitoli, Sagamuela, Chen Saubona. Saubona? Kulmanas, Mamma Nijan. Yeah, Pim. What's on your mind, Mamma Kulmanas? Okay. Umbuzo, uh, I'm Uti. Uma o in the middle of the picture. Yeah. It depends on my Google of five years alone. It depends on my father. He has a my my it will indicate, uh, say for instance, that what was left was 300,000 and what you are being paid is 5% of a 300,000. So the statement that gets to be sent to you does communicate uh, uh, that part uh, of which uh, you are getting a percentage of what total. Because remember, we said it's a balance. It's so a balance, if, yeah. if, if, if we continue with the same example, uh, that I, I dealt with earlier on where you, you had a million and then your two-third was 667,000 and you were getting 12,000 each month. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you pass on in the 10th month, it means you'll be left with about uh, uh, 550,000. Mm -hmm. So that 550,000, each percentage that is going to be allocated as per the nomination, will be 10% of 550,000, 5% 5 of 550, 50% 50 of 550,000. Okay. So in the statement, when we pay, we indicate in that statement. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe to add, um, yeah, go, go what uh, our members need to know about this uh, uh, five-year balance is that uh, uh, within five years, uh, uh, a member, uh, within five years, if you die within this uh, five-year period that uh, we have already alluded to, uh, the beneficiaries of a main member will get the benefits. But once uh, 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 or post that five years, uh, our beneficiaries will no longer get the benefit because uh, we have emphasized that the, the, the two-thirds of your benefits have been spread throughout the five years when you get uh, one third of lump sum when you retire. Sure. So by that time, that, that money will have uh, depleted. That is the, 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 the guaranteed benefit. Okay. And uh, after five years, that is why we say only uh, the surviving spouse will receive 50% of your benefit. Okay. Uh, 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 annuity of your uh, of your benefit. So, do members and the nomi uh, the nominated beneficiaries get the same amount for life, or is whatever amount they are getting hinging on inflation and the cost of living? Of course. No, 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 no. no. Uh, we said you are a member. You allocate percentages that must be paid to. Uh, your beneficiaries and those percentages must come to a total of 100%. Uh, 
So depending at which point do you pass on and how much is left, that which is going to be paid will be a balance of what is left. Once that what is left has been depleted, the only person who benefits over and above what you would have left for him or her is your spouse. Say, l let's make this example. You pass on, you have a balance of 500,000. You said your wife must get 50% and then your firstborn must get, you only have got two beneficiaries. It means each one of them will receive 250,000, mm -hmm. the wife, and the child will receive 250,000. Okay. Over and above, because at the point when you pass on, you were getting 12,000 a month. Your wife will continue receiving 6,000 rent a month, over and above that 250,000 okay. that you left for her. Okay. And the child, if the child is less than the age of 22, will receive that 250,000 as a lump sum, and on a monthly basis, he will then be paid 3,000, which is 25% of that uh, mm. 12,000 rent okay. until he or she reaches the age of 22. So okay. these two uh, monthly pensions, a spousal and a child pensions, are additional benefits over and above what you would have left for your beneficiaries. Uh -huh. And the beneficiary or the nomination list is only valid for the first five years of retirement. Absolutely got you. Subsequent to that, say, say a, a pensioner passes on on the 61st month. Yeah. It means the two third, that 667,000 that we're talking about has been depleted. Therefore, benefit that nomination list will no longer be applicable because there is no money left out of that two thirds. Mm -hmm. Instead, what is now left are these non-contributory additional benefits in a form of a spousal pension and a child pension. Mm -hmm. Now, gentlemen, let's shift our focus now to what is known as uh, defined contribution versus defined benefit. Between those two. Okay. With a a, a defined uh, contribution, normally it's, it's, it's uh, your, your private sector and, and other sectors, whereby uh, uh, your benefits are, de are, are, de uh, are defined by your contribution yeah. and also the investment growth out there. In other words, your, your benefits are solely based on the, the, the investment and the also the market performance out there. Mm -hmm. So which means that uh, if the market do not uh, perform well, it means that uh, your pensions may, may, may be negatively impacted. Uh, mm -hmm. Unlike uh, with the GPF, which is a defined benefit, not defined contribution. Yeah. With defined benefit, it means that uh, your benefits are guaranteed and are not uh, market driven. So okay. no matter uh, uh, your longevity, how long you live, you will still get those benefits and with increase uh, on, on a yearly basis. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, yes. gentlemen. Yeah, okay. uh, please hold the thoughts. Uh, okay. let, let, let's now take this break. Some of you but I like my pills. Sisi Mbugeli, Sisi Sasi Shalilin, Aset Magete, Unga Sanyagati. Don't go away. Lele Lunga Lelako. Welcome back, Mbugelege. Nangabe Usebendi Sahul Mende. This is a very, very important discussion for you. Please do pick up the call and call us right now with 011 714 0671. Number 011 714 0672. These are participation lines right now. You can call us right now in studio. I hope the numbers will be popped up right now so you can give us a call. Or you can also email your thoughts or your questions to consumer at sabc.co.za or alternatively catch us on our social media platforms. Gents, now uh, just continuing on the defined contribution versus defined benefit. 
What are advantages, especially to members who've served for more than maybe 10 years? You see, uh, if I may just pick up on the, the difference between the, these two concepts. In the defined contribution, you invest with risk in the sense that you are contributing on a monthly basis and your institution will then at the end give you dividends. So should the market not perform, it means you may also not get the total amount that you were expecting because the market dropped at the point when you were supposed to be paid. Okay. Now with a defined, uh, defined benefit, your benefits are defined in law. At the point when you join GPF and the law says when you go on retirement, we need not even look at how much you were contributing. Mm. The contribution mm. becomes less significant when we determine your benefits. In the sense that we only want to know how many years of service do you have, yeah. pensionable service. Yeah. And then we multiply that by an average salary over a period of two, the last two years of your service. Okay. So you could have been in the employ of government for 18 years at salary level three, contributing 7.5% of that salary level three. But by the time you leave, say you are at salary level 15, the last two years. So we will then say 20 years multiply by salary level 15, oh which is higher yeah. than though you had spent the entire period of your waking life at salary level three, but when you leave, you are at salary level 15, it means you will get more benefits. That's how we calculate okay. uh, the benefits. Okay. We do not look at, the, at the contribution while in the defined contribution, it's what you put in plus interest is what you get out. Okay. With us, we don't look at what you're putting in. We're looking at the number of years you have been in service by a salary at which you will be at in the last two years before you go on retirement. Mm. That's what mm. differentiate. And the second, the second thing is with us, whether or not our investments are performing or not performing, the growth of your pension is guaranteed because the GPF absorbs the risk, the market risks. They are not felt by uh, our members. members yeah. So their pension continues to grow whether or not the, the market is not performing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas with a defined contribution, any movement in the market south, it will also affect your bottom line. It will also go south. Okay. Yes. Do I have a choice as a member of uh, contributing more monthly just to get maximum benefit at retirement? Or is the monthly contribution cast in stone? Is it uh, just standard? Do you want to take it? Yeah, uh, yeah, no. Um, look, uh, previously it was a cast in stone, mm. uh, your monthly co contribution. But um, as the fund listened to, to, to members, and uh, want to promote uh, uh, the savings from the, the, the members so that they can uh, increase mm. their, their, their benefit when they retire. Yes, uh, they are encouraged to, okay. to do that. And this is what we normally encourage our members in our outreaches out there, yes, yes. Yeah, to, to, to save uh, extra uh, money that uh, they are not using to to put it in their pension uh, uh, monies. Okay. Yeah. In, in, in addition, uh, uh, Simpure, the mandatory contribution, each member, each public servant, contributes 7.5% of his or her monthly salary. Mm -hmm. That is mandatory. Mm -hmm. And the employer contributes 13% for general public servants. And for police, uh, we normally refer to them as uniformed members. Police, soldiers, and the intelligence community, the employer contributes 16%. Mm. So you can say a general public servant contributes 20.5% of his or her salary mm. every mm. month to the GPF. Mm. That, that includes employer's contribution and the individual contribution. Mm -hmm. However, what, what Prior Eric was referring to is that there is 
a development that is currently taking place where we will even allow voluntary contribution, additional voluntary contribution okay. over and above that 7.5. However, the you bottom... You additional voluntary contribution. Say, for instance, you've got disposable income and yes. you want to add an extra over and above the 7.5% the of your, of your uh, monthly contribution. You want to add an extra 1,000 rand so that you maximize your bottom line that you you be allowed to to add okay as matter stands mandatory uh, you you contribute 7.5 percent of your salary employer as 13 percent or 16 percent yeah okay. so th that system that is referring to is a new system that is going to be added on so that if you want to add more on top of that 7.5 percent you are allowed you to are allowed yes to okay Okay, you know, there's been some concerns being thrown around where, with the fact that because so many people live so long, some as long as 90 years plus, mm. uh, doesn't that affect the GEPF's fund's ability to honor its end of the bargain or to honor its commitments in terms of disbursement of funds? No, um, it doesn't. I think uh, my colleague will explain further, but as we have uh, said that uh, uh, after five years, uh, 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 of your retirement, if you are still alive up until 80 years, 90 years, you will still receive the benefit and also on top of that, on an annual basis, your benefit will, will increase with a certain percentage uh, which is uh, market related and inflation uh, influenced. Oh, okay. So, uh, as, the, as uh, my colleague have already mentioned that uh, uh, they are our our benefits are invested, so whatever we receive from the market assist also uh, 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 the fund to increase the benefits of the members. So the funds okay. uh, do have uh, the, the, the I mean uh, uh, GPF do have a stable fund, uh, which uh, at the moment we can say that uh, they can s pay a certain. Uh, amount of money uh, uh, to majority of our pensioners mm. without mm. Uh, 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 our funds be depleted. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. I see. I see. I see. I Welcome to a very final segment. Before we get into the closing part of this uh, of this discussion, let's take our last caller for the day. Okay, Manuel Siwa, thank you so much for your call. I'm going to throw it to the gentleman. Yes, the child pension that we spoke about uh, for a disabled child with a medical uh, proof, mm. that child pension does not end at the age of 22, but it continues. So mm. in the case of Nelly Siwa, because she has a child that is uh, uh, disabled, it therefore means that 25% child pension that will be paid to, to that child will be paid up until he reaches uh, the adult age. Okay. It will not end at 22 ah, because of that condition. Right, right. Uh, Eric, do you want to add on to that? Yeah, I think uh, my colleague have said a mouthful okay. that uh, the benefit does not end at 22 but continues. And mm. I, I, it's, it's part of the rules of the, of the fund. Yeah. Yes. Now, for purposes of clarification, jargon, these big English words, uh, ostensibly talking about the same thing, annuity, pension, gratuity. All those terms. Okay. I gratuity refers to, in the language of public servants, Babies are a lump sum, mm. which means 
when you get your pension, a third, 30% of that pension is converted into a gratuity and it's paid to you in a lump sum. The example that I made when we first started, you've got a million, a third of a million is 333,000, is paid to you as a lump sum. I gratuity. Like. I gratuity. Okay. And then the annuity refers to a monthly pension. Mm -hmm. It means your two third buys you monthly annuities or in the language of public servants, monthly pension. Mm -hmm. That's what you would earn every month for that 60 month or beyond should you live beyond that 60 month. Do members contribute differently, No, They contribute to one and then say, yeah, one is one. No, no, they, they contribute to one. Remember I said it's 7.5% and the 13%. It comes into the GPF port. Yeah. And different from you taking me back to one of the difference with defined contributions. Mm -hmm. Different from a defined contribution in the GPF, individual members do not have separate accounts. Mm -hmm. All their money is poured into one port and then that money is invested through the PIC for it to grow, to be able to sustain uh, members even beyond when their money has, has been depleted, those two thirds has, has been depleted, which is mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. uh, Brian Eric was referring uh, to when you were asking whether or not will we be able to sustain our uh, payment to our pensioners. Yes, of course, we will be able to, to sustain because every three years, we evaluate how much we have mm -hmm. and do the projections of the number of people we have, how many are going to go on pension, mm -hmm. and uh, also do assumption of how much will be needed. So as we speak now, the GPF is 110% funded which means we have right. one rand 10 cent for each one rand that we owe to members. So we are more than 100% uh, ah. uh, sure that we will be able to meet all our financial obligation ah. in the okay. medium and long term. Okay. And one may wonder, would see nanga bege saying a pension, am I allowed, would see nku bege ngkole boko koge baibita nge malia mandela no mage social grant? Can I, am I entitled to get a social grant gaining in a pension? Well, there is a, a threshold to that. Uh, from uh, our uh, fund p point of view, yes, uh, members, they are allowed, mm -hmm. but uh, you have to be under a certain uh, salary bracket. For example, if you earn less than 6,000 uh, uh, with, 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 with uh, the fund, then uh, we can give you a letter to go to SASA mm. and register as a pensioner as well, and then they will allow you to pay. Okay. They will pay you monthly in addition to to what you are earning. Okay, all right. Yes. But because yeah. but but because our pensioners are at a very high bracket, mm. like the lowest paid pensioner, mm. it is very difficult for them to meet that mm. SASA threshold. So what will then happen, mm -hmm. Sasa will not necessarily pay them the 2,200 rand of an old age. Mm -hmm. Instead, they will add on. You'll find more often than not, mm -hmm. GPF pensioners, when they go apply at Sasa, they, they don't get the 100% of an old mm -hmm. age grant. Mm -hmm. Rather, they will then be given an additional 800, 600 mm -hmm. to add on what they are receiving okay. from, uh, from, the, uh, from the GPF. Okay. Gentlemen, thank you so much for opening our eyes to some of these issues and some of the concerns and the worries and the questions. Thank you so much for so diligently answering those questions. Thank you. And then can we, uh, can we deal about next week? Yes, just briefly. We're out of time. Yes, uh, just briefly. next week we have a very interesting question and probably just to uh, invite all public servants to please tune in. Yeah. We will be dealing with the two-port system. Mm -hmm. What is it about? and how is it going to be applied by the government employees pension fund. Remember, the two-port system affects everyone in mm. the industry, all pension funds and provident funds. But in the GPF, it is going to be dealt with mm. differently from how other pension funds are, are going to apply it. And implementation is on the 1st of September, so it will be important for 
uh, public servants mm. to tune in and, and listen mm. to uh, those discussions. Okay, so make sure if you are a public servant or government employee, make sure that uh, you tune in next week to the program Lungelulako every Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Let me thank our guests for their time. PM next week Tuesday for Mason Pion Gohan and the rest of the team to Sinsa Salagas wishing you a great week ahead. Cheers.